Now, new developments tonight happening involving an animal cruelty investigation in Livingston. Back in May of last year, 15 sled dogs had to be removed from the owner. But today, they were reunited with that owner and separated from the families that had been taking care of them. MTN's Annie Johnson joins us with more. It's been quite an emotional day here at the Stafford Animal Shelter as several dogs were taken from their foster families and returned back to the owner. Like, I didn't, I haven't slept since two in the morning this last week. It's incredibly traumatic for us to have to send these dogs back right now. May 2020, MTN News first reported 17 sled dogs were found on a property in Paradise Valley, with one of the dogs deceased and another having to be euthanized. 15 dogs were brought to Stafford where they were given to foster families. I ended up bringing home two of the senior dogs who were um, pretty rough when I got them here at the house. So I had one, one of them was alive for about a month before he passed away and the second one died about three months, three and a half months after. But on February 5th, District Judge Gilbert ruled for the dogs to be returned back to their owner, Ice Fox, while he awaits his trial on animal cruelty charges, which he says he's innocent. Most days, I think, you know, being dead's better than this. And uh, I know it's a lot cheaper. I don't know who these people are, but maybe they're kind of getting a message about who the hell I am. According to the judge's ruling, one of the factors the court considered was the availability of funding to provide for the animal's treatment, shelter, and care. The shelter billed the county over $51,000 for care from May to December 2020. This is, this is unreal. This is incredible. I, 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 there was a lot of times I didn't think this day would come. The foster families were hoping for a different outcome, but remain hopeful. We filed a motion to the court to reconsider that decision, and we are hoping that the judge determines that it is the best for the animals to stay with their foster families or in the shelter for the duration of the trial. The trial date for the animal cruelty charges. Reporting in Livingston, Annie Johnson, MTN News. Now, the court order said a weekly welfare check may be performed on the dogs by officials for the next six months.